Breaker Breaker One Niner One Niner One Niner. Is this thing even on? even on. Hey everyone, Morgan here. So, communication during SHTF. Um, there's a lot of people who, when I talk about communication, they're like, the beauty of it is I don't have to communicate with anyone. Well, if you're somebody who has nobody to communicate, great. This uh, video is probably not for you, but for those of us who have family, friends, people we would like to keep in touch with and know that they're okay during emergencies and disasters and things like that, um, this video is for you. Of course, having a disaster plan, you know, something that can tell people what to do, where to go, etc., in times of an emergency or disaster is absolutely essential however there are going to be times when uh you know you're just going to want to communicate with people who maybe aren't in your area or or i don't know there are many different situations in which you may want to get in touch with someone so you know obviously our cell phones are connected to our hips you know and so when we think about communication, the very first things that come to our mind is our cell phone. Cell phone towers can only handle a finite number of calls coming through. Once that call is those that call number is reached, um, phone calls will no longer be able to get through. Now, texting on your phone is highly more likely to get through than uh, a phone call. So if you can text people, like I'm really glad my mom can text and that she likes to text because I'm so glad that I can text her and be like, hey, are you okay? Instead of having to call her because calls may or may not go through. So texting um, is gonna be something that uh, you're really gonna wanna try to get familiar with, even if it's just for emergencies and disasters. Know, you know how to text people if you wanna get together a texting code. I've heard a lot of people suggesting that parents um, talk to their kids about um, setting up some sort of code. So like if a child says something like, uh, you know, I like bananas, that really means they're in trouble or something like that. Or if they say like, I am all right, instead of I'm, you know, I'm okay or something like that, you know, you'll know that they're really actually in trouble, stuff like that, you know. Um, which is pretty cool code you know having certain codes through text that's always you know something that you can definitely come up with so outside of cell phones let's say the texting isn't getting through you know phone calls aren't getting through nothing's getting through your phone is dead okay no service no nothing okay no internet nothing okay um so the next options that we have are going to be landline phones now who has a landline phone anymore <laughs> okay we don't um do you know if your neighbors have a landline phone can you go knock on your neighbor's door and be like hey can i use your phone for a little bit um in addition to that how many phone numbers do you have memorized if you don't have any phone numbers memorized which i have like one phone number memorized then um print out a sheet of phone numbers and just have it available like on your refrigerator in your everyday carry kit you know give it to your kids you know whatever make multiple copies have them everywhere and be like hey an emergency you know here are some numbers that you're going to want to have on you uh, so landlines you know neighbors have landlines you know um, a nearby convenience store if they have a landline you know most convenience stores grocery stores things like that they have landlines you know if it is safe to go out um, you know and going and, and, and getting to those landlines um, another thing is if it is safe to go out uh, you may want to try to locate pay phones in your area now you may be thinking pay phones who has phones anymore kind of like landlines right nobody has that stuff anymore uh, actually they do pay phones are not around as much as they used to be but they are still around uh, if you go to like older gas stations that's where you'll generally find them gas stations and generally I found that the older ones will have them uh, like newer gas stations uh, generally will, will not have a uh, pay phone but you know, just uh, get like, I would say like a dollar to two dollars worth of quarters with you or change in general, and then go down a little, to a uh, pay phone and, and make your calls. Again, having that sheet of numbers with you, that kind of thing. And one last thing about the pay phones, you may think there are no pay phones in your area, but that's because you just haven't been paying attention to where they are. I didn't think there were any pay phones anywhere near me until I actually started looking for them. And then I realized, wow, there's a pay phone half a mile away from me easy walking distance right down the street from me. So um, that was a big eye opener. And now I know where all the uh, pay phones are in my area, just in case, right? That's what we're prepping for, just in case. Um, and then outside of that, uh, you know, radio communication, 
Ham is really the way to go. I'm sorry to break it to you. Ham is the way to go. When, when we did not have our ham license and we just were CBs, uh, we thought that CBs were fine, they're fine. We can get like, what, a mile? That's cool, right? In perfect conditions, we can get a mile. Um, but ham, you can get an extreme distance with ham. It is, uh, it's like not even night and day with the CB and ham. I mean, ham is far superior. It just is. You can reach further. Um, you can uh, communicate better. It's clearer. Everything about ham is just better. So if you can get your ham license now, that's going to be ideal. And in an emergency or disaster, you know, if you don't have your ham license, but you have a radio and you really need help from somebody or to reach somebody or something, um, then, you know, you can, you could probably get away with getting on the radio, you know, just in emergency and disaster situations, you know, like if you're, you know, really needing to contact somebody for help or something like that. So, um, you know, I guess, uh, some other methods might be carrier pigeon. Uh, smoke signals. Let's see, what else? You know, there's various things we could think about here, you know, about how to communicate. Hand signals, you know, get some binoculars, you see your friends from across the way, do some hand signals at them. Uh, so there's just a lot of things that we could think about when it comes to communication, you know. If there are people you need to communicate with, your team, your family, friends, whatever, even if it's just to see if they're okay, you know, we need to have a few different methods of, um, communication. So what are some communication options that you might have uh, for emergencies and disasters? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, today I am getting my preparedness planner ready for the next week. So right now it's blank, but I'm just about to go fill it out. So look forward to tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Come visit me on Patreon if you really like my videos and come all to my social networks all down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.